Brian, how do you rotate through all your pens? Your schedule doesn't seem to have much time for journaling, etc. Um, okay, so I currently have a collection of around 400 pens in my personal collection. <coughs> Which, now that I say that, seems like a lot. It probably is a lot. Um, I never set out to have any type of big collection, and it kind of just keeps on growing without my trying too hard. Um, being in the pen business, that just tends to happen. Um, honestly, though, the vast majority of the pens that I have are ones that I wouldn't have nearly as many pens if I didn't do as much uh, video and blogging and photography and stuff as what we do in our company. That's a lot of the reason why I feel so compelled to keep so many of the pens that we end up carrying here because um, it helps me amass, um, amass my knowledge and expertise as a subject matter expert of sorts. Uh, but, but really it helps me for posterity. It helps me when I'm shooting a video and I'm like, oh, we got this you know, matte black Unica. Oh, you know what? It does kind of look like the charcoal safari. Boom, I have a charcoal safari right here. You know, I can just pull and, and have access to all these different things. Um, you know, so that's a big help in that way. Or I'm like, oh, you know what? This, this nib is kind of matte looking like this other pen that I have, this Stipula da Vinci. Let me compare those. You know, just having a random assortment of various things like that, especially once pens get discontinued. Um, and I can't just like, like most pens that I'm carrying regularly, I can go pull them off the shelf and look at them. But in my personal collection, I have, you know, old editions of Lamy Safaris and I have like our Delta Unica orange celluloid that we did a while ago that we only had a hundred of them and that was it. Um, so things like that, that uh, I would never have otherwise had I not hung on to them. A Twisby 540, you know, and things like that. Twisby Micarta, things that are not available anymore. Um, being able to have those is, is kind of cool. So that's a lot of the reason why I have them. So the fact that I don't use all of the pens in any type of rotation, which I don't in any specific rotation, um, doesn't bother me because that's not necessarily what they're always for. They're always there for me when I'm ready to use them. And I got a pretty good memory as far as like how things, excuse me, how things write and feel and stuff like that. So, you know, using them even not as super regular, um, I've written with every pen that we've ever carried here because we do it in a nib nook and we do samples and we take pictures and measurements and everything. So I can get to know the pens pretty well as soon as we carry them. It takes a lot of time to do that. but uh, So once I do, just having a pen as a regular reminder, I pull it out every now and then and it all just comes flooding back to me I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this. Um, so I just kind of will do that sometimes. Just kind of go through and look at all the pens and just be reminded of what it was like to write with them. So definitely sometimes I do want to directly compare uh, and get a better understanding and then I'll ink them up and carry them around for a bit. And I'll do that for sure. You know, I carry multiple pen cases around with me at all times. Um, of just random pens that I have inked up. You know, I got a 12 pen Visconti case now that I'm carrying around with me, along with an Aston 10 pen case in the front of my, my bag. <coughs> so, I'll carry around a lot of pens, but even still it doesn't touch the, the main collection that I have. So. Um, I don't rotate them through with any regularity, so if you don't either, that's okay. I do appreciate them. They're kind of like my babies. Um, you know, I just, I enjoy them all. So even if I am not using all of them super regularly, I still just, I have them to have access to. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then if we ever need to do photos, like environmental photos of a pen that we don't have anymore, you can compare and stuff like that. It just, it really comes in handy. But that said, I do still make time, probably more time than you might think, to write with and play with all my pens. I use them very regularly just in my daily work life um, as I'm taking notes and just writing with them. And certainly anytime I'm doing a video and comparing things, um, I spend you know, easily an hour a day kind of doing that stuff, even on some of the busier days. Uh, but in general, I'm still, uh, I keep a daily journal, um, which I don't write in every day, but for the most part, I try to. Um, that I don't rotate pens through quite as much. I keep one pen like at my nightstand with my journal and I'll do that, but I'll do that. And I, you know, right, this month is Inco Rimo. I'm a little behind because I've been so sick, but I uh, have been writing people back there. So I'll write letters and do things like that. You know, anytime something crazy is going on around here, I'll write sympathy cards. I'll write, you know, thank you notes and stuff like that to our team or to random customers. I'm signing invoices that customers request and things like that. Um, so I do get to use my pens actually fairly regularly. So it's not anything magical, uh, but you know, if it's something that's important to you, you're gonna make time for it, uh, honestly. So, you know, I definitely don't have enough time to rotate through everything, but uh, you know, I do get to use the pens regularly and I enjoy rotating through them and getting to play with them all. And that's a lot of fun. So uh, that's kind of where I stand there. 